What's up, guys? This is a uh, Tai Zen broadcasting from the middle of Times Square in New York City. And um, in this video, guys, I want to um, warn you guys and encourage you guys to beware of other people's opinion about your artwork. Okay, um, that is one of the most dangerous things that I've seen hurt a lot of beginning artists and even professional artists. Okay, is the opinions of uneducated non-artist uh, folks, okay? Um, when you have put in a lot of brush mileage, uh, and you know, just uh, as a reminder, brush mileage is how much time you have spent, you know, painting with a brush or drawing with a pencil or doing Photoshop or sculpting a statue. No matter what your craft is, the more hours that you have spent in doing that type of artwork, then the more experience and the more skill that you will have versus someone who does not uh, excuse me, that has not spent any hours or time practicing or learning the craft that you have learned, okay? So be very careful whenever you get the opinions of non-artists and uh, people who have not put in any brush mileage uh, like you have, okay? The time and the effort to learn, uh, um, to create world-class artwork, okay? Um, just remember that everyone is entitled to their opinion, okay? So let's say that um, you create a piece of artwork. Um, everyone that looks at it is entitled to their opinion whether or not they like that work or they do not like that work, okay? Um, so that will vary on your degree of creativity of how creative you are in creating your artwork. However, the technical skills behind the artwork is not really open to, um, in my opinion, is not open to criticism from someone that is um, uh, is someone that is um, a non-artist and has never put any time in to learn to draw or paint or create artwork. Okay, so for example, like I create, I painted some um, paintings of uh, female portraits where their hair looks like the Medusa-like hair. Instead of painting real hair, I painted it so it's more like snake-like and more uh, thick and vibrant-like. And I've met some people that like it, and I've met some people that, that, you know, there's a small number of people that do not like the Medusa-like hair that I do on a lot of my female portraits. And so that's my creativity that I'm putting into it. And everyone is welcome and, and entitled to their opinion uh, if they like the Medusa hairstyle that I create in my artwork. However, um, if you don't, um, if, if they don't like that style, or that creativity that I did in my artwork, there should it should not bother me and it should not hurt my feelings about it, okay? Now, if they say that the colors were not in harmony or the proportions were not correct or the tonal values were not correct in the drawing or something like that or in the painting, then they're really not qualified to say that because they have not spent any time learning it. Um, so I would not pay attention to that, okay? So um, hopefully this short video here, guys, was able to help you guys um, be aware of the opinions of non-artists and people who have not put in any time to practice the, the craft and the skill uh, and, and the art skill that you have practiced and that you don't let it bother you or get to you emotionally and don't hurt you psychologically when you are trying to create your artwork. You know, so I hope this video helps you guys out and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. If you guys like it, give me a thumbs up so I'll know to make more videos like this. And uh, if you guys don't like these types of videos, give it a thumbs down so I'll know not to waste time to make them. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube uh, channel and check out my uh, site, um, artisthangout.com. Uh, and I'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.